Hi guys, um, today we're going to put some fuses in, should have done it a long time ago, um, but I've just forgotten and haven't gotten around to it, so we'll put some fuses in today. Five watt solar panel plugged in, so it's um, coming not too bad to deal with. We'll just disconnect the solar panel. I'll take this battery out. Turn the light on so you can see a bit better. This is the 5 watt solar panel, so I'll just connect these ones. Um, I should give me a bit of room to play. Alright, so it's knowing what I need to stick a fuse in. Um, the inverter has, their, has his own fuses. So, uh, this one here, which goes to cigarette lighter plug. I think I'm going to stick a fuse in this one. Um, I'm going to stick a fuse in the LED lighting that I put up over the end bench. Um, and I think that's it for the minute. Obviously this one coming in here, which is the solar panels, that's already got an inline fuse put in so this wire here goes down to my own shed for 12 volt lighting. I'm not using it at the moment, but when it comes to it, I will put a fuse in that one. Um, let me find all the connections and stuff that I need, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Right, what I've got is a 10 amp, and I got a 7.5. Um, the 7.5 I'm going to use for the LED and LEDs over the end of the shed. I really didn't want to use this, it's still too big really. Um, that's the lowest I've got. Um, basically, I've got a couple of these female spade connectors, connect connectors and they're just going to go on like that basically. And then you get yourself an inline fuse. So you have the positive coming in there, positive going out, so you cut the positive and then you saw it. Then you want to change the fuse, you can just obviously disconnect these, change the fuse, and then plug back in again, a new one, and you're good to go. That's what I'm going to do. So, like, I'll find the other side of this, because this side is the negative side. Uh, one will go in there, and then the other will come out there. So, it would be, be kind of like that, if you can see. So, I'll grab tools. I don't know what the 10 amp's going to be like with the inverter, but I'll give it a go. I've got bigger ones I need to place them with, so I've got ones that got to 30 amp, but I know I'm not going to be using 30 amp for it. No way. If I'm having to use 30 amp for it, then something's wrong. Right, so we've got the positive here, so if I just go a little bit more, actually. Cut him here. I don't recommend doing this near the negative because obviously, if you touch them, you'll be shorn out. Put the connector on. Crimp them down. Obviously, in this case, because I've got no no cover to cover that up, I'm going to need to put some tape, um, insulation tape around it. Do the same with this guy.
um, when I move and make the shed bigger, um, I am looking at buying a like a um, shell gun, heavy duty milk, milk shell, shell gun for batteries. Um, it's a five shelf one and um, can hold up to, I think it said 174 kilograms. Well, I've looked up, these are only 18.1 or 2 or something like that. So I can put about eight, eight and a bit of these batteries on one shelf. So um, I'm going to buy, buy it and I'm going to start building up on that. So if, just saying, fit eight on each shelf in, and there's five shelves. There's gonna be there's gonna be a fair bit of juice there. So that's done. So um, put the ten amp amount on there. That's basically it. Just like that. Don't know if you can see it. Right, let me move forward a bit. So basically, that's it there. I'll stick some tape around these two just so they don't touch or touch anything else for that matter in there. Right, so I've got some insulation tape. Good stuff this, I use this stuff for everything. It's quite cheap to buy as well, so so I do. Tear a bit off. Gonna wrap a bit around there just so it protects it. And everything else that shouldn't be live. So it's one. Let's grab another bit. There's two. So that's that now. It's done. Now um, I wanted to do that to one more, didn't I? So um, what's that going to? Right, that's going to the switch. Actually, I have one more to do. It. I forgot about the light in here. So I'll put one in that one there. Actually, what I'll do is I'll take this one out here. Which is going to the um, switch because it's already got one on anyway. So now all I've got to do is make a little bit more wire up to go to the switch. I'm just going to once again cover this one up. Um, grab another spray connector. And another fuse. Again, it's going to, have to be 7.5 because I have nothing else smaller. So I'm going to grab some wire and then I'll be right back. Got some wire. And I'm just going to cut just a little bit off. That's all I need. Get rid of the rest of this. Shave off the ends. And again, just put the ends on. I'm going to bend this end over a little bit because I've done it a bit too long. Get some tape. I'm only going to tape at one end of this because the other end's gone on the switch, so no need to worry there. Alright, so I've got fuse. 
and positive. And now, if I move you up a little bit, <coughs> you might not see it. The um, no, you're not. It is in here where I need to go. So now I've got line back in there running through the fuse. So if I take this fuse out now. I've got no light. So it's just another safety feature. And we've got one more to do here. Um, wherever it is. Where am I seeing it to be? Am I going crazy? Or is it just me? Ah, oh, there it is. All right, so we've got a bit of wire here. Moving oh, things here. All right, so let me peel this off some more so I know which one's what. All right, so we've got positive here. I really need to sort out this um. Warren, it's probably, you're probably gonna be shouting like doing your nothing, but trust me, it's doing mine just as much. When I sort the shed out, I'll try to sort some sort of wiring out system out, so um, it's all neater. One more, and drops are good. In. Sorry if you've seen the back of my hand quite a bit. Um, there's nowhere else really best things to the camera. So that, plug the fuse in. Oops, sorry. And there's your one. Alright, let me just quickly check the light over here. It should be all good. Yeah, we're all good. Now that's that. So, I've just got to move this battery back over here. Plug a little 5 watt back in. So we can start charging again. And that's that. Okay. So that's that's the simplest way of um, putting an inline fuse in. That's um, that's as easy as you're gonna get. So I'm happy it, it works. So that's all I need. Crap weather out today. I'm getting quite a bit. It's quite amazing. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what the next plan is and what I'll be doing next. It's lack of money for things and stuff. So I want to build up on batteries uh, really quick. So at least then I can like rely on them if I need to. I mean, this was on 14.4 before I turn that on. But as soon as I turn that on, it. it Drains it down quite quick, but that's to be expected. There was nothing plugged in either. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.